Welcome to our channel Beyond Borders content. In today's video, I will guide you on how to set up a multi-screen home office. I'll walk you through the process step by step and show you the best supplies to use for an efficient setup. I've been using multiple monitors since 2016 and I can attest to its efficiency and ease of use. With multiple screens, you can multitask while you work, watch a movie, keep track of your daily planner, and more. Based on my personal experience, I'll recommend affordable and high-quality products on Amazon for you to set up your own home office quickly. Be sure to check the links below for the recommended products. It's important to note that you'll need a good computer or laptop to connect all the screens to. I use a 15-inch MacBook Pro Retina, and I can say that a strong computer is crucial for managing multiple monitors seamlessly and avoiding any frozen pages. Having an L-shaped work table is very convenient as it provides ample space to organize your stuff. I've found an even better version of my table, so be sure to check the description for the link. Additionally, having extra storage nearby is always a plus. For monitors, I've tried and tested many options before finding the best ones for my needs. Some monitors reflect well vertically, others horizontally. That's why I recommend the Scepter brand 24-inch screens for vertical use, as they are thin, high-quality, and affordable. I also use two Asus MG28U gaming monitors and one Acer monitor for vertical use. My setup also includes a Logitech wireless keyboard and mouse, and a large mouse pad for extra comfort. To support my multiple monitors, I have two different dual monitor holders, one that attaches to my desk and one that is a freestanding holder with a phone holder. To connect all the screens to your MacBook, you'll need cables. First, check your MacBooks or computer's display ports to see what cable options are available. Most commonly, you will need one basic 8K display port and either two USB-C to VGA adapters, along with VGA cables for each monitor. Keep in mind, VGA cables usually come with each monitor when you purchase it. Next, you'll need a laptop docking station, which is the most crucial part of connecting all your screens to your laptop. I've tried different versions of docking stations and the one I recommend is the best. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos if you're enjoying this one so far. With all the main components in place, it's time to set everything up. First, set up your monitor holder and attach each monitor to it. Before connecting the cables, set up the laptop docking station. The monitor docking station I recommended comes with all necessary parts and works with both Mac and Windows. Make sure your laptop is up to date, connect the cables, and go to the website pluggable.com. From there, click Support, then Drivers, select Docks, and find the Display Links drivers. After setup, you may need to make a few small adjustments in the settings. To finalize the setup, go to System Preferences, click Security Privacy, scroll down, and choose Screen Recording. Then, click on the Display Link Manager. Now you're ready to connect all your cables. You now have multiple screens. To organize them, go to System Preferences, click Display, and you'll see all the connected screens. When you click on each screen, you'll see a red mark, and you can drag them to arrange them as you like. To make a screen vertical, right-click on the desired screen, go to Display Settings, choose Rotation 270, and click Done. Having multiple screens is incredibly helpful for those who spend a lot of time on their computer. Once you get used to it, you'll find it difficult to go back to using just one screen. I also carry another MacBook with me, so I recommend a portable dual screen for those who are always on the go. It's super convenient to take with you to Starbucks or any other location and use it when needed. Before ending this video, I would like to recommend three more items that will make your dream home office complete. You'll need a power strip for your cables, a laptop holder for your notes, and a comfortable office chair. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment if you've set up your dream home office, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'll see you in the next video.